I am beautiful, I am loved, I am safe, I am free. I don't need to be like them, I just need to be like me. Holy heat wave, Batman. They are predicting today to be the hottest day of the year. As you can see, there's this red glow all over the place right now. It is super hot. They're predicting today's air temperature to be 98 to 99 degrees with a heat index of like 117 to 119. It is going to be super, super hot today. And as you can see, I mean, the sun is behind the clouds right now. So it's not all that bad right now but when the when the sun comes out man you can feel that heat and like i said it's just it is so hot it's like a red glow it's almost like what i can imagine maybe be living in hell <laughs> i'm not exactly sure i hope i never have to find out to be honest with you but yeah man it is today is going to be a scorcher my ac kicked on at like 9.55 this morning and it normally doesn't do that until like around noon because I have it set at like 85 in the house. Normally it doesn't do that till about noon or one o'clock. It went on before 10 a.m. this morning. So it is going to be hot. It was already 93 degrees at 10 a.m. And uh, actually I don't know what it is now. I did not look, I just got back from the store. But uh, yeah, wow, here comes the sun. Here comes the sun, na 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 na. Here comes the sun. All right. yep it is going to be hot which means i ain't doing nothing outside today absolutely nothing at all as you can see i mean it's just it's just red hot it is red hot today later guys good afternoon everybody good morning good evening partly cloudy mostly cloudy actually doesn't feel too bad out here it is still a little bit warm um got some interesting interesting news or not news found out something this morning i'm supposed to work tonight at home depot i'm supposed to close from six to ten. First of my last three days i got today tomorrow and thursday but i went to log in to the workforce app to check on my schedule to make sure get my qr code up so when i get to work i can punch in through the phone because that's how you're supposed to do it well i went to log in it would not let me log in I could not get in tried three four five times would not let me log in would not let me get in to get anything so then i went to the computer tried logging in on the computer to the live the orange life uh website which you can get all that information also wouldn't let me log in there so that's telling me that they have already canceled me so with that being said i was still debating on going in tonight and walking in there and just seeing if they cleaned out my locker and all that kind of stuff but you know what with them canceling this being childish the way they're being the way they're acting right now i'm just not going to go in i'm just not going to go in if they call me or whatever and say you know how come you're not here i can just say that i uh went to log in to find out what my schedule was you guys locked me out i can't get in i can't punch in on the time clock i can't do anything so i figured you guys just let me go and just being the adults that you are decided not to call me and tell me so i'm making an executive decision i am not going in the rest of the week so right now i got this whole week off so that's my decision that's what i'm sticking to it's on them the, the whole time i've been there they've just i've just been a peon number half the people in management didn't even know who the hell i was um but yeah that's the way it is so i'm just i'm just done with that i'm done there's not a bridge there that i wouldn't mind burning someplace i'm never going to go back to anyway so doesn't matter if the bridge is burnt but that's it just wanted to let you guys know what's going on later what is up guys it is raining this is very very much needed rain here we have not had no rain here in probably i should say any significant rain here in probably about two to two and a half weeks so even though this probably isn't going to be a whole lot, this little bit really does help. It's already starting to lighten up. There was the really, really big drops coming down. It's already starting to lighten up. I mean, it might keep going for a little while. It's coming in from that way. But uh, it is now very, very humid out. It normally happens here. But uh, 
yeah this is very very much needed very very much needed i was gonna have to fill my pool up probably tomorrow if it didn't rain soon because it's like right down to the ledge the lower edge there and uh this is not going to be enough to bring it up so i'm probably gonna have to fill it up anyway but yeah this is very very much needed very very much needed rain right now so that's it guys later hopefully you can see this you can see the steam coming off of the road blowing by really really slowly now it's been raining for about 10 minutes and the road is still steaming because it's been like 96 98 degrees and then this rain came in and you can see the steam coming off the road pretty wild that's what happens here in florida later guys many hours later Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you are watching this. I think this guy is really lost. There should not be any semi trucks on this street. So I think he's lost. It happens every now and then. Oh, there's somebody flagging him down back there. Maybe that's who he's looking for. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I wanted to give you an update on the Mazda here. I replaced that uh, belt tensioner a few days ago, and that noise has gone away. That noise has stopped. So. That was only seven months in the making because it's been going on for about seven months. I just never got around to doing it. I've had the part for, oh, I don't know, three months, <laughs> give or take. And I just finally got around to doing it. So that was it. That was it. Now I just got to, uh, what I still need to do is, which I'm probably going to do in the next couple days, I'm going to throw it up on the ramps. I'm going to drain some of the transmission fluid, put some fresh transmission fluid in there, and then put the trans tune in there to still baby that transmission because i'm still babying that transmission and let's see that's about it um it's also the day after that whole ups wouldn't let me log into my account fiasco i was supposed to work last night wouldn't let me log in or anything like that no phone call no nothing um i haven't tried logging back in yet but i'm just i'm just done because i was supposed to work tonight and tomorrow morning and for the 62 dollars that it's probably going to net me to go in for the next two days i'm not even going to bother so that's it that's done all done here comes the truck back down the street for some reason i'm not really sure where he's going i think he might be going to pick them up down there maybe but you can tell he's lost he's, he's driving real real slow so let's see where he goes I think he's looking for that guy down there. Picking up his driving partner maybe, I don't know. Just kind of very weird seeing a big truck like that down here. Yeah, I think that's where he's going. Because that guy was standing in the street not too long ago trying to wave him down. Yep, he is picking him up. Okay, well, they got that figured out. <laughs> Alright guys, but it is kind of a nice day. I still need to replace that flag. I need to actually, I need to go in and look to see if I have one. I think I have an extra one. Because when I order them, I usually order two at a time because they go through them so quick. So I might take a run inside and see. Otherwise, it is a beautiful, it is 94 degrees out now, but the humidity is kind of low. So it is actually kind of comfortable. It doesn't feel as hot and muggy as it normally does. But that's it guys, I've been rambling long enough. Later. So the way that I'm going to attempt to do this is I'm just going to back this screw out just enough so that it starts trickling out and then I'm going to grab it and hold it and let a little bit come out and then hopefully get it back in and plug it back up because I don't want to drain all of it. So out of the five times that I've done this, 
four of them I was able to get it back in and the other time I was not. <laughs> so hopefully that's still in the right position. So we're gonna try this and see if I do it right. I'm only gonna let a little bit out, maybe about a quart or so, give or take, and then I can plug it back up. but you know what that's okay take this glove off and get a good wrench on this thing without it getting all full of stuff get that nice and tight like so and go up top and see what level I'm at all right guys so the way you check transmission fluid the car has to be at operating temperature in order to check the level properly so i'm going to start this up it's still on the ramp start it up back it down get it on a level surface let it run for about five minutes and then uh check the levels at that time so here we go Guys, hopefully you can hear me over all this. Check the level. I can see where it goes. And yeah, I'm a little bit low. So I'm gonna have to add a bunch. Second thought, I didn't have that stick all the way in. I don't know if you can tell, but it's right about there, right in the middle. So level-wise, we're good. Level-wise, we're good. So I'm just gonna leave it there for now, and we'll see what happens. What is up there, everybody? That was this week's Around the House. Um, this is going back a couple weeks um, with the whole story about Home Depot and how they blocked me out of the workforce app and wouldn't let me check my schedule, wouldn't let me, you know, get my QR code to punch in on the time clock and all that stuff. And the funny thing was, is I thought, you know, maybe there might have been a little fluke or something and that, you know, they would give me a call because I was supposed to work those next three days, the Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And, you know, I figured if I didn't show up on Tuesday night, you know, they would call me, you know, Tuesday night, see where I'm at, or call me Wednesday, see where I was at. Not a phone call, nothing, <laughs> nothing whatsoever. So they just, you know, did the very mature thing and just, you know, canceled me because, you know, I put in my notice and I guess they didn't like it because when I put it in, all of a sudden, you know, Ainsley had her baby, you know, it was other person took off because they had death in the family. So they were kind of flustered. So you would think they would have wanted me to come in and fill in on the shifts. But I don't know. It is what it is. Nothing I can do about it. Um, <clears throat> that being said, it's been super hot here. I mean, probably like everywhere, everywhere across the country, it's been super hot. But I mean, down here, it's been, you know, heat index, you know, 105, 110, 115 degrees it's crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, yeah, let's see. That's about it. Um, didn't put anything in this week's video about work. Um, the past couple days at work, I'll just tell you right now, I'm going to go into a little bit more in another video. But they're not giving me the support that they told me I was going to be getting. Um, just to put it briefly, I'm getting some stuff in there that I don't know how to do, that they didn't train me on, and I don't know how to do it. And I've been reaching out to the two people that I'm supposed to reach out to for help. And nobody is getting back to me. And they need, you know, these copies of these books and all that stuff. And I just don't know how to do them. And I keep telling them I don't know how to do it. And they're not getting back to me. What do you want me to do? <laughs> but I'll go into more of that later. Um, the past couple days have been a little bit aggravating there. And, you know, I don't do aggravating at work very well. I'd rather just leave. But I'm sticking with it for a little bit. But with that being said, 
don't know what's going to happen here coming up because I'm the only one in the room. I'm going into this a little bit more. I'm the only one in the room there, and I'm taking care of seven different buildings by myself and plus whatever's in my building and these people are starting to come in with all these projects and plans and they're you know three four hundred page books that they want me to scan and pdf them and email them i don't know how to do that and i told them when they hired me i'm not a computer person i'm not a copy machine person and they understood that so it's on them but we'll see how that goes but anyway guys that's it uh hotter than hell this this last week last several weeks um didn't do a whole lot i did um do a little flush on my transmission i'm still kind of baby in that thing <laughs> until it completely goes but it's been hanging on but um yeah that's about it guys uh come back tuesday for another taste test challenge give me a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and i'm getting up there i'm getting close to 600 subscribers i'm really close i just hit 500 about what a month or so ago give or take I'm getting close to 600 now. But, you know, that's probably going to level off. I mean, that's what happens. I mean, it'll go, you know, kind of level, then it'll spike for a little bit, and then it'll come back down level. So I'm expecting it to kind of level off and not jump so quickly anymore coming up soon. But we'll see how that goes also. There's a lot of we'll see how that goes in this, <laughs> in this little outro. But anyway, guys, that's it. Come back Tuesday, another taste test challenge. And maybe I will see you next week on Friday. Um, haven't been recording a whole lot because I've been working. So my clips are getting, you know, starting to run out. So we'll see what happens. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you soon.